but friends so uh yeah it's like late and i'm just gonna paint i don't know why i just i'm gonna paint got a little beverage of something over here very nice hey brenda and uh you know what we're gonna make some flowers and we're gonna make them all pretty and nice and it's gonna be awesome yeah i'm not sure how they're gonna turn out i saw a picture of somebody that had finished flowers and uh, i saw her picture and it was awesome so i was like i might be able to do that so i'm gonna try it and if it sucks it's that's just the way it is but i was thinking about doing um the kind of flower i saw in braveheart um, just gonna start little bits by little bits and And I'm going to do that a few times over, and it's going to come out these ways. Who else is here? Just want to make sure if people are saying stuff, I'm hearing you. No, just Brenda. I'm glad you're watching though, Brenda. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I'm not gonna get drunk. Hey, Carla. Hey, Carrie. Oh, man. Yeah, so um, just makes the flower out of Braveheart when he gives um, he gives the girl the flower and then later she presses it between the book and she shows it to him. And it's an awesome flower. And it's got that and then like a little green puff and then it was straight. I don't know what kind of flower it is. Maybe if you know stuff about flowers, then you can enlighten us, but... Otherwise, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, sorry about that. So somebody told me I can use these bottles. Um, it was actually, um, oh, uh, um, Karen bought. She told me that I can use these little bottles as a air blower thingy. And so I'm gonna try that so I don't, nobody wants to see me falling over. Well, I, that would make for entertainment, but. Okay, that's fun. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, Chroma Storm, how are you? It's been a while. So, yeah, Friday night turned out to be a bus, so it's time to be making some arts. Whoops, that was a little much. <laughs> Ha! I'm getting carried away here. There we go. I'm starting to get some of the darker lines. Oops! Oh man, I put my colored fingerprints on the bottom of this. 
So I got little isopropyl in this in the other squeeze bottle. Yeah, got it most of the way out. <laughs> you know what? I did. I ordered an airbrush today. Yeah, you, you guys have been like, dude, you gotta, you, you gotta but get an airbrush here. Let me zoom in a little bit. That might be too much. Oh, whoops. Okay, there we go. Um, you guys were like, dude, you gotta get a, 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 an airbrush. And so finally, I broke down today. I was like, all right, airbrush time, and uh, picked one up. Found one on Amazon, pretty cheap. Hey, Trudy. Welcome. So yeah, uh, this is Yupo paper. Um, this is the super thin stuff I got. And I got this on Amazon. And so 110 GSM is, um, is, the, um, is the European measurement of it. And it's not 110 pounds, which is what I thought when I was buying it. So... 110 would be, you know, fairly thick, thicker than the light water paper, not the heavy stuff, but the light stuff. But this stuff is like, it's very thin. And so if you, you can't really use a heat gun on this, the 110 GSM, because it'll just bubble up every which way from Sunday and yeah. That's a pretty one. So I'm gonna layer this up a little bit to make it feel like it's fuller than just this, this one head of the flower. And uh, I mean, just like a 2D cross set, 2D cross section. This is weird. I don't know if you could see this. Let me pull this up a little bit closer. Right here, it's almost, it's almost got white in it. Did I? Oh, I totally got alcohol ink on my uh, screen. I'm sure it'll come off or maybe. Okay, and where is my green? I've got lime green here somewhere. Mm -hmm. So do, um, do any of you all use um, alcohol inks? Ooh. Oh, I know, you pose the best, right? Um, okay, so somebody asked how much that you put paper was. I think... I, you might have to check it out on Amazon again, but I don't think it was that expensive, to be honest. Um, well, when I say that expensive, I mean expensive for as far as alcohol inks go, uh, or uh, Yupo paper goes. So this was... Uh, this was like 25 to 30 pieces, I think. And here's a full picture if you want to if you want to be able to... Uh, Look it up. The SAA Yupo paper, 110 GSM synthetic. Um, I think it was in the 20s, 25 to 30s. So anyway, um, I want to take a little bit of puddle here and put the green in the puddle. Just that bottom bulb. Yeah, I think Gram Grams from Eden. Cool. So just so you know, I'm not ever um, expecting something amazing out of this because I've never even tried this technique before. 
This is completely experimental and we're just doing it on the fly because, yeah. So I never ever use blending solution. Um, I've seen some people online say they love it, but I'm too cheap. I'm not paying $8 for a little bitty thing when I can buy this for $4. Or if you go to Walmart for two. What I'm trying to do is keep it on this edge right here until it starts to dry and then I'm going to blow real hard and make it spindly right here and push it up that way. almost too far out. I'm going to go back through afterwards and dab some of these edges that are too far out. I mean, uh, dab them with alcohol ink once we're kind of to a place where we, we think we like it. And then I'll kind of dab it and pull it back a little bit. Um, and after this, I'll do something that's a little less experimental. Um, And I've got some blue in this brush because I was drawing in uh, lines on a different on a different uh, piece. I'm trying to rough in this leaf real quick. Once we rough it in, we'll go back through it, and it's probably not big enough, huh? Not for a flower head that size. <laughs> All right. You know, on YouTube lately, I've been, uh, YouTube, on um, Instagram, I've been looking at these people and um, some of them have absolutely amazing, 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 amazing um, control over this medium. To me, it feels kind of unwieldy and it seems like it doesn't really like to be manipulated or adjusted or controlled or... Um, just seems like it doesn't like any of that. And um, I mean, it, it is a true fluid art. Sometimes you can suggest where things should go, but most of the time, mm -mm. you kind of have to have it a little really dry. And um, hey, Millie, how are you doing? Thank you for being so welcoming, guys. I really appreciate that. That's one of my core values as a person, and I really appreciate it when the community does the same thing. All right. Gonna try to, um, the more, with alcohol links, the more we kind of layer it. Ooh, what is that? Glycerin drop to about one ounce alcohol. What does that do? Oh, is that how they get the control to it? I ask a question and then I look right away. Mm 
Hmm. Oh, somebody just answered. Nuh-uh, really? Blending solution is just, oh my goodness. My mind is blown right now. Or spread purple hand cleaner on a jelly plate and drop in alcohol and get the cup your smooth. You pull in water, paper, heavy car stuck and pull it. You get cores. Awesome. Um, my mind is just a little bit blown off of homemade um, blending solution because that is so awesome. So um, we have so many lines here. I didn't want the stem to feel so much different from that line. And so right now I'm just pulling that te same texture that we did right here down through the rest of this stem line. Um, I'm just trying to, I don't know, to make it feel more uniform, like it, it naturally goes from one thing to the next. I mean, not one thing from the next, but it gen flows fairly easily from one thing to the next. All right. Uh, uh, where it is? So, um, I don't know, I think I kind of keep this mat in here just for practice, just to see where I would be if I was trying to actually mat this thing down. Ooh, a dab of slate. I like it. Oh, I don't have slate. What? Closest thing I have to slate is my is the stream. I have black and I have stream. I can actually mix the two. Let's mix the two and then we'll have slate-ish. Well, thank you. Looking good right back at you. Oh, the uh, the painting. Gotcha. Okay. Just kidding. Where's stream? There it is. So. One, two, three, four, five. Two drops of black, five drops of stream. And I think black is really intense as a color. And so I'm hoping that's enough to, uh, to kind of, I don't know, hold it together. Oh, too much. Hmm. How does that even look? Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Nice. Actually, I really like adding this in with a brush. I've never done with a, just adding it onto a brush before then blowing it. I don't know what the last one part you have. I've been talking to the, the phone, the camera for a while now. Um, I just, I was saying, I just discovered, I really like the way it kind of goes together and it feels when, um, when you apply the ink with a brush, then blow it. Because you don't put out exactly quite as much. Um... Yeah, sorry about that, Carrie. Um, you don't put out quite as much um, ink 
I mean, you can put off just as much as you want and not more. <laughs> yes, I know people's vid video just went out. It will be back. Um, yeah, it'll be back. Okay, and so um, this video uh, doesn't count for you, Holly. Right after this, I'm going to upload and do a video with salt, and it'll be live tomorrow. But this one didn't count. Ooh, let's do a slightly lighter. I have, so there's wild plum, then magenta, and then flamingo. And these two are very similar colors. This one has a little bit more red in it. And this is a lighter color. Hmm. Yes. Uh, let's do the thinner color, the thinner lighter for, um, thank you, Carrie. Whoa. <laughs> My straw. I forget how much easier these Ranger inks move. Um, you, so you have more control over the pinata inks, but the Ranger inks flow and move easier. Um, I love flamingos too. Oh, I like that one. Oh, you know what needs to happen? This needs to be thicker because this got so big that this needs to be thicker to make it feel right. Oh, so glad I saw that. And, um, yeah. Where can you find those inks? Okay, so you can get, um, the Ranger inks at Hobby Lobby, Michael's, and, um, oh, I don't know what else, where else, but Hobby Lobby and Michael's, that's where I've bought mine so far. And then the, the Pinata inks, you can either get them online. I like Cheap Joe's and Jerry's Artorama. Some people like Dick Blick, um, whatever. Amazon's got them. Um, and... Uh, yeah, it seems like Cheap Joe's has the best alcohol ink selection from what I've seen. All right, so this needs to be thicker. Don't you do it. Man, I'm really wishing I didn't put that leaf there now because I think it would have looked better with not one of those right there. Just put a little bit, uh, a little bit of ink, uh, alcohol on, on this. Oh, so you guys want to know what's funny? So these videos I've been making, YouTube keeps flagging them. And I was like, I've been a... Uh, probably a little bit madder than I should be about this, but um, so I wrote them a letter and I was getting all mad and then finally it dawned on me that maybe that I say alcohol ink so many times that it comes out and sounds like um, alcoholic. So alcohol ink sounds like alcoholic. And so I think their new AI isn't like good enough to know that I'm not saying alcoholic. I'm talking about alcohol ink. Um, and so it just occurred to me. And when I realized that I kind of went from like mad to not that mad pretty quick. I think it's kind of funny now, but I was pretty mad for a while that they kept flagging my junk. 
I mean, not my junk, but <laughs> my, uh, he kept flagging my videos, but so I still have to go through it every single time. They're like, this video contains inappropriate content. I was like, it does not, it does not contain inappropriate content. And, um, yeah. So I should find like a new code word to call these things. Yeah, I think that looks better proportionally. Uh, oh, seriously. Pharmaceutical ink. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I tell you what, though. I could not believe it. I was so mad at first. I guess, like, I kind of understand. What, what this all came out of was um, some hate groups had monetized their videos. And so since the hate groups monetize their videos, a whole bunch of advertisers are like, wait, 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 wait. So this platform that we're using with you, you, uh, you allow hate groups to monetize their videos too. Uh, and so, yeah, they got pretty incensed and I think YouTube lost a lot of money. So they're erring on the side of caution right now, which is entirely obnoxious, but I can see why they're doing it from a business perspective, but it doesn't make it any less irritating for the moment. I mean, other than the entertainment part of their AI, unable to tell the difference between the two words. I'm just kind of working this up a little bit so it it flows better, maybe. I'm trying to keep it very random. That's why I'm just dabbing at it. I know it's terrible for a brush, but, you know, what are you going to do? The art need to be made. Okay, um, let's get some more fl flamingo, blow it through, and then um, I'll pause this video and start making tomorrow's video. Yeah. So, all right. So, um, one of my... One of the one of the ladies who comments on the video, she actually has really funny comments. I mean, a whole lot of you have really funny comments, but this lady's comments are hilarious. And um, wow, I'm telling a story one blow at a time. Um, <laughs> so. Or, she was like, uh, use, uh, use the salt. And so like in, um, in, um, watercolors, you can put salt on it and it completely changes it. And so we want to see if it does the same for alcohol ink. I'm not sure if it does or not, but still be cool to try it out. There we are, getting our spindly back. Whew. Yeah. Night, Carla. Oh, are you, where are you from? One o'clock, what time is it? It's, oh, you must be Eastern Standard Time. I'm on Central Time right now. All right, I think we done. Um, oh, I did say that I'm gonna dab back some of this outside to kind of try to form this a little bit better. So I'm gonna take an absolutely clean paper towel and soak it with alcohol and do my best to erase the corner, but I'm not gonna do be able to do a perfect job. So I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna be able to do, but it'll be fun to try, so yeah. Just fell on me. Oh, tape.
Oh, that's kind of cool. It gives it a soft edge. I like that. Um, I'm going to do the same thing over here. Kind of give this a soft edge too. Whoops. <laughs> well, that's nice. Interesting. You know, never would have thought that that was a good idea. In fact, I kind of thought it was a bad idea as I was saying it. <laughs> Let me get a new, fresh, clean paper towel. Here's my AI. That's kind of cool. Who'd have thunk? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With, yeah. And I'm just dabbing here to make more texture. This didn't give me the texture that I wanted. Um, Although I'm not taking out any of the ink, I'm just trying to reactivate it and get it to texture different. Okay. Guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys are my favorite. You guys are awesome and the best. And that's all there is to that. Okay, so hope you guys have a good rest of your night. I'm gonna do one more and it'll... Oh, thank you, Brenda. I love you too. Oh, oh it does need a bug. I'm going to have to figure out how to paint one of those. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a fantastic night. Love you all. Peace out.